What's up, YouTube? All right, so it was requested for me to do a Pac-Man Frog uh, care video. So I thought instead of just doing your traditional tutorial and just go through and ramble off everything that you should do for your Pac-Man Frog, I figured why not show you guys me actually taking care of my frogs. Now, I normally come in here and spot clean quite often throughout the week. I'm usually in here daily checking their water dish and their poop, mostly because I like to see my frogs, so I come down here to check them out. They are something that does bring me a lot of joy. So I come down here, just check them out. You know, If I see poop in there, I grab it, I throw it out, I get it clean. If their water dish is really nasty, I can tell that they went to the bathroom in it or something. I'll swap that out real quick. But that's the majority of the care I do throughout the week, minus feeding. Um, in which then, depending on what meals I'm using, whether I feed everybody silver sides or if I feed everybody rodents, if they get like silver sides or insects, usually I'll feed them two, maybe three times in a week. Um, if they get rodents, it's normally just once a week and sometimes I'll let it go a little bit longer to make sure that they got it fully digested and pooped out. Um, but let's get started and just rail through these guys and show you how I take care of them on a regular basis. Just give you a quick overview. I already got my rodents thawed out and ready to go. I got the silver sides all thawed out and ready to go. I just got to chop them up with some scissors real quick. Uh, I have water right there so when I'm changing the water dish I could just scoop the water right out. It just makes it a lot easier. This right here is kind of like the dump bucket. If I find any poop or anything, soil that needs to come out or something like that, I will scoop it out and I'll just toss it in there real quick. It just makes the process a lot quicker. And then I will quickly run over to the mop sink, spray off their water dish real quick, pop it back in there, and away I go right with them. So let's get started. Alright, so I always start from the top and go over. That's what I typically do. Uh, this girl right here, she is in water right now because I'm trying to get her a little excited to maybe produce some, to ovulate. So maybe I can actually get her uh, to have some eggs and possibly have some babies. But we're just seeing how it goes right now. I'm not really pushing hard for her to ovulate. But uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get her meal ready for her. And we we'll go ahead and feed her. Her water looks perfectly clean, so I'm not going to change it. It does not look like she has peed or pooped in it. Usually if they urinate in it, you can see a little bit of a tinge in there. And, well, if they poop, it's either a perfectly clean turd just floating around or it's all like brown water. It really depends on your frog and what they ate. Um, but I go through, this dude is also a male. So I'm hoping with him being on water, he might croak a little bit more in the mornings and possibly help stimulate her to make her feel like it's a rainy season. So let's go ahead and grab him his uh, meal for the day. I usually like to have a rag handy. These guys are in water, so it doesn't really make nearly as much of a difference. We try to dry it off a little bit, but also them having the moisture on the fur and everything does also help them take a nice drink of some fluids for them. I do really was happy about that meal right there. All right, so now we're onto the ones that are in dirt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this over to the sink real quick. Spray it out real quick, the bottom's still dirty, but that's not really a big deal. I just take a little scoop of some fresh water, toss that back in there, shake around for any poop. Looks clean to me. Soil doesn't look overly saturated. Soil doesn't look like she's urinated in it. Um, so she's doing really good. Now I'm feeding her a little bit larger of a meal. Um, her size makes me want to believe that she is a 
uh, male, but she is still not showing the pad on the inside of their thumb right here. It'll be like a big brown wart. And if you see that wart, then it's a male. Um, if you don't see that wart, it's uh, typically gonna, it's, it's gonna be a female. Uh, at least with your standard Pac-Man frogs, that's how they do it. So go ahead, give her her rodent. Oh, look at her, she's just gobbling out. She loved that. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow, this girl made a mess in her cage. You see this? She literally put almost all of her dirt in her water dish. She is cute though. She's absolutely adorable. So let's go ahead and we gotta fix that cage up, make that good again for her. So because it's like that, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a spare tote here and I'm gonna actually take her out and put her over there for a minute so I can get this part situated. Yeah, she has a ton of dirt in there. We're just gonna go ahead and throw that out. It's overly saturated, so we don't want like germs or any bacteria to start growing in there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just get this put out. The water in my house is ridiculously hot. So when I spray it with my water, it's like hitting it with like, I don't know, it's about as hot as a hot water heater can go. It's starting near boiling. You put your hand in the water, it'll literally burn your skin. So it really helps keep stuff real nice and clean. Let's grab some more dirt for her real quick. I always have a little container of somewhat moist dirt sitting around. So for this type of occasion, I can just top them off real quick. Now you guys see me use this in the videos a lot. This is my spray nozzle. Uh, it actually runs through charcoal filters and a normal fabric filter to really make the water a lot better for the animals. It's Jimmy rigged is all Jimmy rigged, <laughs> but it works really well for me here at the shop. Um, I have my on and off nozzle here, because if you just let it run straight through, it just, it, this thing will start leaking eventually. So, go ahead. It's kind of like one of those pump sprayer ones, but it's a constant. Is I have it actually plumbed in to my house, so it's pretty nice. Right. Go ahead and make it nice and pretty, get y'all cleaned up there. And there you go. This is our fancy. I'm pretty sure it's a girl. Um, I don't know. I got her. A buddy of mine picked it up for me, and I just haven't had the heart to get rid of it. Now, a buddy of mine has actually been able to uh, get a fancy to actually reproduce, which is kind of cool because the myth is that uh, they're infertile. So, this turns out being a female, I might actually try her um, and see if I can get babies from her. Why not? But her cage is now all perfect and pretty. This is my little four spot. He is truly one of my favorites. Um, I, one person calls him an emerald. I've heard him called uh, green apple. All kinds of different weird names. But uh, it mostly has four spots. So I call it a four spot. That's just the route I go with it. Uh, he's actually going to get rodent this week. Uh, I'm trying to get him to grow up pretty fast. Uh, I'd like to see him breathe. Um, I just think he'll make really pretty babies. So, they get him to breed eventually, but his water dish is dirty, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that real quick. Go so back in there, go ahead and give him the nice filtered water. Um, so essentially we have a reverse osmosis water system. But I took the ozonation part of it off, so it just runs through the three filters. Uh, I just don't think that it needs 
the ozonation. I think that'll actually take too many nutrients out of the water for him when he is going to and need those. Those are going to be good for him. So then, now that that row's done, we're back up here to the top. So I'll go through, see any turds, any splotches of soil that I think need to go. You want to fluff up the soil. That really helps because if the foil, soil just sits there stagnant and isn't able to get oxygen and kind of dry a little bit, that's also how a lot of bacteria will start up. Go ahead and get him the rodent for him, get him eaten. Come on, I know you are. Ah, dropped it. Right, yeah. Sometimes you gotta rub them right on their lips to get them to take. There he goes. Good boy. Go get your plant. Have some nice privacy with your dinner. Uh, this one, I just changed the water in it yesterday. Like I said, I go through these on a daily basis. I don't always go through and uh, really, really check hard in their soil for anything or fluff it up. But I do at least twice a week. Um, but essentially, this is just what I do for my weekly care. And they do great. When I, uh, at the end of every month, I typically will go through and change all of their soil, um, get them on fresh, clean stuff, um, in which at that point I'll toss them in a toad of water and let them soak in some nice, clean, fresh, good water. Um, and I typically enjoy that as I'm cleaning their cage. That also serves as a place for me to put them when I'm trying to just run through, get them nice and clean, and I don't want to worry about them. Uh, one of my videos, if you watch it, I think it says something about me almost losing a frog. I had it soaking, and the darn thing actually jumped out. I didn't think his size frog could actually get out of that. He ended up going underneath the snake cage, and I had to fish him out. It was a whole ordeal. I had to pull snake cages off the walls. But eventually I got him, put him back in his cage. He was perfectly fine. I don't even remember which one it was. It could have been this one for all I remember. But... This is the care video that was requested. I hope it answered most, if not all, the questions that you have. But if you have any more questions about Pac-Man fries, please hit me up. I'll either do a video on it or I'll comment to you and answer your questions and help you out all I can. But for right now, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and have a good one.